Alright everyone, welcome back to Terraria. Now, I still don't really know what I'm doing in this game, so I'm mostly just following whatever this tells me. And I need to discover and smash it first, my, my first hard crystal underground. I don't know if I've actually discovered a lot of the underground. Also, I'm not entirely sure if, uh... Oh, I feel like I had a burning question I wanted to ask you guys about this game, but... It's not coming back to me. Um, but yes, I feel like I've explored a decent chunk of the underground. I just, I just don't, I don't know what this heart crystal thing looks like. I don't know what it smells like. I haven't licked one before, so I don't know what it tastes like. I imagine it's deep underground or maybe in pre-made caves or something. I got no idea, but I assume because I haven't found it, it's probably deep. Just a, just a hunch. Just a little guess. And hopefully there's no enemies, because I forget how to play. Right. So there's a bit of green there. Let's go this way. Let's go into this sort of middle abyss area. Uh, I think I've put my... I should have put my face at the bottom right of the screen so you guys can actually see the map. And the only thing you're really missing out on is when I open up this menu, you guys can't see the bottom of my... Uh, the, the shit that I can equip and stuff. It says the other things, but I don't think it's important. Anyway. Okay. I hear zombies. Also, fun fact for the people that watch me on YouTube who don't watch me on stream, uh, if you didn't know, my birthday was recently, and I was given a gift card for a level... Oh. There's more piss water. Oh. Uh... But yes, I was given a lovely little gift card for a certain shop, and as it so happens, that shop sells a lovely little lighting system for me to light up my face a bit more so that it's not completely darkened out by the one light that's in my room, which is directly above and behind me. So, at the very least, my facial expression should be a bit more readable. I dread the day when I have to play a horror game, because uh, I've, I mean, if you've watched the Minecraft VOD, yeah, no, didn't, didn't, didn't go super well for me, afraid not, there was a slight creeper incident, it's been solved now, okay, can't do that there, there's no wall or something, huh, what is this, is this more tin, I feel like I only find tin. Oh, lead! Okay. I'll take lead. Lead's good. Lead's good. Lead gets me stuff, right? Lead's useful. I think. But I feel like I need, like, 500 of each ore to actually make use of it. Am I wrong? Like, I mean, at least in Minecraft, you just need, like, maximum nine of one ore to make something drastic. But, I don't know. It feels like Terraria requires a little bit more, to say the least. So if I just do this, and then I break a hole, I have to use my pickaxe. Forgot about that. Ow. Come on. There we go. Perfect. I also wish there was some sort of dual wielding function. There's probably some sort of quick key to like place torches, but I do not know it. Okay. Also, what is the significance of piss water? I am not fully sure I know. Oh, wait, what? Why is it blue now? Is it only piss water when I'm in the desert area? Can I check that on the map? No, the desert area is over here, and I'm over here. Hmm. I do not know. But yes, I definitely did have a burning question about this game. That most of you probably have the answer. Two. Two. Oh, we're just looping back. Hey! Is that a fucking trap? What? What, what were you guarding? Pathetic little bottles. Hardly something to protect. Alright. A bit interesting. Did not know there were trap cards in this game. Cool, cool. Right. Uh, do I even bother to continue searching forward, or is this just going to loop back around to a massive I told you so cave. Ok, 
Okay, maybe it leads somewhere, maybe it leads somewhere, we'll see, we'll see. But yes, I need to discover some sort of hard crystal, I don't know what it looks like, I imagine it'll be obvious when I see it. But, for right now, I've never found one before. Also, I don't know how to use magic, it seems to be something I started the game with, or at least have some sort of knowledge of. But, ow, what the fuck? Oh, is that another worm? It is too. Got it. Okay, wasn't a strong one, clearly. Right, ooh, goodies, goodies. Hello. Alright. But yes, I, I clearly have started the game with some amount of magic available, because I have 40 of 40. And yet, no magic speaks to me. It's as if I have to learn or something. Seems like a horribly frightening thing. Oh, this is a lot of lead. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I'm on board. I'm on board. We can do stuff with lead. God damn, this is actually quite a bit. Okay. Alright. And I don't know what that is underneath. It's either... I think it, it's either tungsten or tin. I forget. I'm not good at what all the things look at, but apparently lead looks like diamonds. So that's always good. Maybe it's the equivalent of. Because lead's pretty damn good. Just, just do the thing. Yes, there we go. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Whew. Cool. Is there anything else over there? Probably. But we'll leave it for now to get this tungsten. See? I knew it was one of them. Why do I get the feeling it's... Even though it's very obvious what's below me, it's probably bad to dig straight down in this game as well. I don't know why I feel this way, but does put me on edge. Just enough. But yes, I absolutely dread the day when my perfectly visible face now screams in terror at some sort of horror game because it was suggested to me. And I hope it never comes, honestly, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not opposed to doing horror games, I just think I'm a big baby coward and would prefer not to scream on camera. Hmm, okay. But that seems, th well, that at least sorts out the situation that over here cleans things up a bit, shows me where we've been, where we haven't. This is kind of nice though, because it's like a big old maze that I have to explore. I like it, I like it. Also, if you guys have any other recommendations for how I can improve as a uh, streamer and or YouTuber, please let me know. I... I'm running on a very small budget, so please be generous in that regard. But I'm making it work so far, and honestly, this this very cheap, I think it was like $15 light that I picked up from from like Kmart, I think it was. Yeah, that's it's doing pretty fucking well. It's got like 15 different brightness settings. Or like 10 or something. I know it can change color to not not to like anything drastic, just like mood lighting, you know, a bit more of a appealing to the eyes lighting. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, eye protection. You know how your phone has that eye protective setting, and it's just like, oh, we'll make everything slightly more orange. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this would be stupid for me to try and dig through. Seems like it. Cool. Is it like Minecraft where you can like quickly dig under and hit with wood and save yourself sort of thing? Uh, watch their innards become outards by skeleton. Hmm, I don't recall. Strange. Interesting. So you're saying the only way people will know what, what date I record these is if I die. I see that as a challenge even though I don't see a reason to hide the date. Oh, that is dark. That is very fucking dark. Oh, can I- is there a way to get rid of water? Can I make a fucking bucket or something? Like seriously, what? Whoa. Lead ore, tungsten ore. I need like a bucket or something that can delete water. What can delete water? Can wood delete water? I- oh, fuck, do I have to do this- do it this way? Do I really have to do it this way?
Come on. Okay, now that that's all done, this should be... Of course you are. But now that that's all... Really? Come on. Thank you. Really? Don't be an asshole and just aim for my ankles. Thank you. Right. But now that this has been all blocked off, I suspect the water level underneath it is still very much there. Cool. Alright. Minecraft be damned. I guess not all the rules apply. Okay, what if we do that? Actually, if we, at the very least, knock out a bit of the ceiling, we can place lights up there. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. It, at the very least, despite this water being in my way, it is teaching me how to properly maneuver this horrendous situation. Right. Dead blocks. Perfectly fine. Stone blocks. Also perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. I'm hearing an awful lot of screaming in my ear. For not a lot of visual screaming in my ear. Is that a gem or something? What is that? Nope, just a stone block with a bit of green fuzz, apparently. Damn it. But yes, by all means, I am very much open to suggestions and critiques for this game, for how I stream, for how I do YouTube, pretty much anything. I'm also open to game suggestions. I can't guarantee I'll get around to them anytime soon. But, oh, that certainly works. Um... But yes, if you have any suggestions for games you want to see me play, and bear in mind, my PC is a potato, so uh, try not to recommend things that could potentially be in, like, 4K Ultra HD. Oh, that's where the party is. Shall we see if we can join? Why not? It'll be fun. And they're probably guarding something important, like a heartstone. Something's making things glow in there. There's a bunch of enemies. I don't know what is up with that. Let's do that. Drain all the water first. I'm used to a shit environment. Right. There are quite a few of you bastards, aren't there? Can I hit you up through here? Uh, of course not. Oh, hey, but you can come join me. Interesting. Huh. Was not expecting that to be the case. There's a piranha underground. Is that even a thing? I mean, apparently so in this game, but... Come on. I mean, so far so good. This seems to be a very effective way of killing shit. In fact, I think I've employed this technique before. No, 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 no. I want the low ground, actually. What are you doing here? Can enemies spawn in piss? Is that a thing? That I don't know about? I guess if I just dig a deep enough hole, then the piss will drain. This whole time I've been trying to extend out to the sides, but really... What is that? Oh, fuck off. I'm just trying to live my life. Thank you. Don't come again. Right. So yes, if I presumably just dig down... Yes, okay, okay. So some level of water physics works. Well, I say that as if putting blocks in water actually would delete it from existence in real life. It wouldn't. But still, it's good to know that some things are functional physics-wise. Come on. Thank you. How do I get back out the- Oh, very nice. And then I can just bury it. <gasps> okay. Okay. Little, little bit of a revolutionary, uh... Ow. Bastard. Am I poisoned forever? No, just for five more seconds. Okay. Oh my god, but that deals fucking damage, man. Jeez. 44 out of 100, you psychopath. Right. <gasps> is that... Is that what I think it is? Please tell me that's what I think it is. We're gonna use one of these. 
Just because I think that's what I think it is. And if that's what I think it is, then I need it. What in the fuck was that? Oh, I should have realized. Alright. Bet. Okay. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Asshole. Right. I see how it is, game. I see how it is. I just feel up, heal up to full health to try and be safe and, you know, look out for myself, keep my situation alive and, you know, well enough to figure out what that red glowy thing was in the cave, in which I'm not going to speak the name of it just in case it's not that, but I don't want to jinx myself, but it might be what we're looking for on our little mission here. But, of course, the second I heal to full health to try and keep safe and, you know, make sure whatever happens in that room doesn't doesn't insta kill me i get insta killed at full health nonetheless it seems like a one off trap i managed to dodge the first one and we're back now fuck you one off trap i hope right i need safety that is what i need right now where are my wood blocks cool Looking for a bit of privacy. Don't mind me. Right. Re-equip all my shit. That I lost. How dare you say my sword is unpleasant. It's kicking some ass right now. God damn it. I wish there was a way to quick sort to everything I had before. You know, like a really quick way to re-equip everything. Oh yes, my grenades, of course. Couldn't have saved me, of course. I was uh, up against a boulder. Wooden greaves, do I need those? I think I made better ones, did I not? Did I not? Apparently not. Hmm. Alright, well, wooden greaves it is. I guess I only had enough tin for those, which makes sense. Hmm. <clears throat> is that all? I think that's all. Yes, it seems like it at the very least. Right. I'm happy with this. Chests can be swapped out with more wood. Uh, healing potions at the end, just because I'm used to it now. Grenades on standby. Not that I know how to use them if I need them. Cool. Right, let's try this again, shall we? And hopefully, slightly different outcome. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that there are traps in this game. Not you, you fuck. Okay, so that's just a piece that you leave behind? Or are you hiding in there waiting to spring up again? What in the fuck is that? That's a goddamn dragon. What the fuck? You do insane damage! Holy shit. Okay, calm down, little Komodo friend. I just need to grab this thing and get the fuck out, don't I? I really do. But I don't know how to harvest it, I presume, with a pickaxe. Oh, I don't want to wait for my health to come back. Otherwise, more nasties are just going to spawn in anyway. Why do I get the feeling the second I go over to it, big trap? Fucking place something somewhere. Oh, I did it, I did it. I'm fucking out of here. See you, losers. I should probably go back there, it seems like a lot of important, cool things are in that room. Including enemies. Okay, okay, but I got it. Is that... Do I have more health now? That's what I kind of assumed would happen. Uh, consumable. Permanently increases max life by 20. Yes, please. Nice. Nice. Alright, what's the new objective then? Go on. Discover a golden chest underground and take a peek at its contents. Could it also potentially be in the same room? Both seem like rare underground occurrences that might be worth hiding together. Dart trap. Fuck you. You were next on my list of... God damn! Alright. No need for that. I'm guessing if I jump up there again, a similar situation will occur. Don't you try it. I have known now to not underestimate anything in this game. So now we've got 120 health total. Let's use another one of these. 
Cool. Oh. 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 Really? Oh. Oui. Oh. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Why do I get the feeling? Oh. Hey, listen. Oh. I guess I follow you then. Uh, please be patient. I am slow. Is this like the, the lifeblood expansion to Hollow Knight? No, that couldn't be true. I've already got my extra health. Okay. What do you want me to do about that water? Piss, maybe. Huh. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I'm taking my goddamn time, but I'm also making sure I'm safe. Okay. Does this blue thing want me to drown myself? It, I w it wouldn't be out of the question. I would certainly consider it if you offered something of value. But... Why? I thought that was breathing. Okay, both those bats seem quite eager. <gasps> you lovely bastard. You just sent me to another one. Huh. Maybe these are more common down here than I thought. Platinum ore. Right. I want this quickly. Fuck, how deep does this game go? Jeez. I should probably think about getting back soon, because honestly... I mean, I know I haven't technically gained a lot of value from this, but I get the feeling the deeper I go down, the more likely I will be to encounter... How do I put it? Uh, enemies that I can't fathomably ever consider beating. We will grab this, however. Uh, and by that I mean, remember that good old uh, Alaskan bullworm that we attempted to... Oops, picked up my own gravestone. <laughs> That's weird. That's... Oh. Interesting. Uh, but yes, that lovely... I get the feeling I can't hurt ghosts. Oh no, I can. Cool. Fuck huge sea dragon! No! Oh, you're a goddamn salamander! Right. Okay. Um, but yes, that Alaskan bullworm we fought before we had any sort of upgrades and we died very quickly and pitifully and died a few times retrieving our stuff from that same room. Uh, I get a feeling we'll run into a similar situation if I keep delving further down for the moment. So, we will... Right, I was going to put this back. Because I felt, it, I felt it wrong to sort of remove progress. Does it say anything now? No, it's blank. Whoops. Well, you can all just remember. You can all just remember what happened there. Because let's face it, who would forget I was crushed by a fucking boulder. And don't tell me it's not just a boulder and it's just a rock. I don't believe you. Right. That thing was heartless. Boulders are heartless. Rocks are not. Okay. Ooh, heart. Why is everything dropping health all of a sudden? Right, can I... You motherfucker. I knew it. I fucking knew it. The second I'm serious about coming up there, it just shoots at me. It can sense my intentions. Goddamn dart traps. Right, we're going back to see what we can do with all this lead and and other things that we picked up. Emeralds, maybe. I don't know if we can actually make much of them, but I'm assuming with all the lead we picked up, we can make something out of ourselves. Ooh, now we can actually pick which way we want to go home. I prefer this one. Okay. Okay. 
So we found two heart containers. We didn't find a golden chest. Admittedly, there still could be one in that room. I'm just a bit of a coward and don't want to explore it right now. Because I'm scared and I want to save at least some of my resources if I die and the rest of them can't be gathered. Right. So far, so good. So far, so good. I could probably make a better stairway system, if we're honest. If we're completely honest, yes. My stairway methods and building technique definitely leave something to be desired, but I still don't really know how to build well in this game. So for the time being, everything's gonna look like shit. I hope you can forgive me. Right. Oh, there's a little thing in the background. Why don't they ever come and say hi? Right. I believe being here? No, we need to be next to the anvil. Or do we need to be next to here? Do we need to smelt things first? I forget how it works. Right. Show me the window. Uh, armor statue. Cool bamboo chairs. Alright, sure. Yeah, okay. Furnace. Mahogany doors. Mahogany. Dirt bomb. A small explosion that will spread dirt. Cool. A sticky bomb. A small explosion that will destroy most tiles. Tossing may be difficult. Oh, I get it. I was... <laughs> I was wondering if it was actually like, only the pros can toss these. You might find it a bit difficult if you're pathetic at the game. But no. Okay. So far, so good. Can I not make more? I can. Huh. Why didn't it let me? What? Cool. We have more shit. What can we make with this shit, though? Interesting. Okay, trash can, heavy workbench, bathtub, toilet, cooking pot. Out of all of those, cooking pot and heavy workbench sound the most useful. Minecart, equipable. Let's ride the rails. Do I have to make the rails as well? I imagine I will. That'll suck. Amethyst hook, equipable. Uh, what do hooks do? Sometimes dropped by skeletons and piranha. Hmm. Lead helmet, lead bow, lead short sword. Okay, okay. Tungsten bow, emerald staff. Wow. I only need one emerald for that. Or do I have more? I've got way more. I've got 13. Okay. I really don't know what to do with myself. But let's make a heavy workbench for some advanced crafting, shall we? Any iron bar and any wood. That actually doesn't sound as advanced as I think it might be. Uh, put you there. What can you teach me? Whoa! We can make... Okay, yeah, this is... This is more likely, rather than the heavy armor workbench or whatever it's called, it's probably just the... Oh, you've reached endgame now, so you can spell out funny things if you're rich. Hmm, okay. Amethyst Gemlock. Right click to place or remove large amethysts. Wait, what? Place or remove? Okay. A boulder can be placed. <laughs> cool. A rich mahogany sword. Wait, I can make weapons out of wood? Did I know that? I guess I did know that. I just forgot that I had more types of wood. Okay, so yes, this just seems to have opened up a bunch of decorative things. Rather than... I don't know what I was expecting, really, but yes, it doesn't seem to be ultra useful to me right now. So let's go back here. Hmm. A lead door bore. Empty bucket. Can be used to scoop up a small alarm. Liquid. Yes. Give. Place. Equipable. What? What? Why is it equipable on my head? It's <laughs> equipped in social slot, no stats will be gained. Oh. So this is like proper armor, and this is like what you want to look like underneath. No, on top. Interesting. Hmm. 
I think I'll just use it as a bucket for now. But that's handy. That's very handy. Okay. We have a bucket. This is a bucket. I feel like I want a hook. For some reason. I feel like that's a good thing to have. So I will make one out of the amethyst. What do I need? Just 15 amethyst. Oh, yeah, sure. Do the thing. Uh... Oh! That's a new menu. Hat, star, something, something. Hook! Hold on tight. <gasps> Alright, I'm doing things. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but it works, it works. How do I see that slot, though? Because it only popped up when I clicked on the thing. D oh, equipment! Equipment. Interesting. So now I've got a hook. How do I use the hook? E! Oh! Oh! Oh, this is fucking terrifying. How Stretch Armstrong can I be? Not the entire house. Okay. It's very convenient that my house is just long enough to not be explored with just a hook. But interesting. Okay. I've got myself an amethyst hook. And it seems to bump me around the place. Huh. Okay. And I can access my chest through the, through the fucking floorboards. That is beautiful. Always loved a little secret hatch. Right. What else can we do? We've got many more chests. Well, apparently we've only got one, but I could have sworn it was five earlier. I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, we'll put a chest inside of a chest. Classic Inception style. Uh, wait. Could I have just used this as a hook? I thought this would have been used with the amethyst to make the hook. Or the amethyst hook or whatever. Hmm. Used to make red dye, rubies, uh... Yes, I'm not quite sure what to do, but... I mean, we'll just, we'll just put our shit away. Fuck it. I don't want to die with it on me. Uh, deposit all. Nice. You know what, that'll do. That'll do. Ooh! Look at us being graced by the presence of- How do I unhook? X. X? Why the fuck did I just say X? Space. Yes, yes, very nice attempt at trying to kill me. It didn't work out too well. Good for you. Right. Can you also die, please? You seem to be whacking your face against my house and I'm not- not really in the mood. Right. Bang. Already using the hook perfectly. Another fallen star. Bang. I wonder if that mitigates fall damage for me. Uh, not that I can tell. Fall damage is actually pretty generous in this game, weirdly. Right, people have said I can talk to Jack to learn things. And whilst I sort of knew that, I feel like he can teach me other things as well. I don't remember exactly what, but someone said Jack can tell me important things. You should stay indoors at night, it's very dangerous to be worrying around the dark, whatever. Crafting. Zombie arm. Wait, I can use that as a damage dealer? That's almost as good as my current one. Wow. Uh, J Jack, are you actually gonna help me with anything? He sat back down again. Happiness. Getting this place to myself, I greatly appreciate it. I'm quite fond of wandering through the forest, I like it here. Right, and then crafting just opens up this menu. Oh, place the material here. Uh... Here? Showing recipes that use grenade. Required objects, none. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Uh, fall on star? Required objects, bottle. Bottled water restores 20 life consumable. Moon glow, day bloom, and a fallen star. Wait, what? I'm confused. So all of- all- oh! It makes a mana regeneration potion. I see. Oh, I see. An enchanted nightcrawler. 35% bait power. Oh yes, you can fish in this game, can't you? Probably why water is such a hassle to get rid of. Star in a bottle can be placed, increases mana regeneration when placed nearby. Okay, okay. Enchanted boomerang. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Some pretty, pretty strong shit. And I can make a mana crystal to increase my mana by 20, even though I don't know what that does. Can I get his assistant with what mana does and is? Emotes window. Hmm. Tell me about mana. I need to know magic. What do I need to... Oh, a material. Gel. What am I going to make gel into? I really want something useful here. Sticky dynamite. All of this just seems explosive. Oh, a healing potion. Okay. A couple of bottles, a mushroom, and some gel. Okay. Maybe you're not entirely useless after all. Slime crown. Consumable. Summons king slime. 20 and a platinum crown. Or 20 and a gold crown. Both of which summon King Slime. Okay, so either gold or platinum if I want to summon... Oh, required objects. Crimson Altar. What? Oh. The Blendomatic Bottle Nun. I see. So it tells me potentially the, the thing I need to place and be near to actually craft the thing. Other than that, it tells me what materials I lack. For example, a bottle, which I don't seem to have on me. Okay. Right. I am loot. We still need to complete this one, but what's the next one? Defeat the Eye of Cthulhu, an ocular menace who only appears at night. Right, well, how how does this menace appear? Where does this menace appear? What, what do I have to do to make this happen? This ocular menace, as you say. Because I've got, I hate to break it to him, but I've got 140 hearts now. So, odds of this ocular menace doing anything near damage to me is quite low. Okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. We've got a strong weapon, we've got a decent amount of armor, we've got a lot more health. Hmm. I guess I should start placing some torches, huh? Take that, thank you. Because, I mean, realistically, it's nice to travel at night, but it's not nice to travel in the dark. Ow, what in the fuck was that? Hmm. Alright. Nothing, I guess. Oops. There we go. I'm not trying to step on your territory or try and kill you right now. I'm just looking to spread the light throughout the world a little. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Cheeky little ocular not boss level bastard. Okay. So far, so good. Right. Mm. I guess this is also a good way to prove my theory of does light protect me from monster spawns? I get the feeling that it won't. Considering so many other Minecraft related things that I've tested haven't exactly worked out for me. Right. Wow, you zombies all know how to coordinate a good jump, don't you? Very nice. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, you guys are everywhere. I imagine you have to have a small percentage drop chance for something amazing. Otherwise, you spawning in mass is kind of useless to me. Although it is nice to have all these fallen stars lying around. That's one I didn't get to collect, I don't think. Which kind of sucks. But that's fine. Can't get them all. Right. I've just blocked that area off to myself then. Alright, well, may as well go the full distance. Not someone that half asses shit. Right. And you know what? This is also kind of annoying. I hate having to jump. It's 
So if we could just if we could just skip that and go straight to the there we go. See, I'm getting better. Minor minor efficiency 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 changes. And I'll be I'll be in the in the big boy leagues very soon. Wimble has defeated his 50th green slant. Well, look at me go. Proud parent right here. Right. Okay, I don't know how that works. I don't know how some of the physics in this game works. But you know what? It's fine. Is this regular wood or the other type of wood? Is this mahogany? No, this is regular. Cool. I don't like having to jump. I really don't. Okay, we're good. Although I did just unlock a fucking grappling hook, so... It's also not the worst thing in the world. It's very handy to get up from shitty places where I haven't built stairs, actually. There we go. Like here, for example. This is a shitty place where I haven't put a lot of stairs. But I would prefer stairs. Cool. Hm. Yeah. Actually, yeah, can I destroy more of this trash that's sort of... Like, don't get me wrong, love the ambiance. But it's also just very much in my way of looking at anything ever. So if it could just all die, that'd be great. Okay. Surely if there's gonna be a golden chest full of loot, it would be in a underground jungle temple situation, right? In fact, that looks promising down there. Bunch of jars. I thought that leaf was out to get me for a split second. I was like, oh, fuck. Some sort of bat. Nope. Oh, don't tell me I have to chop the tree down first. I guess it does kind of make sense. You can't really uproot a tree without... ...it first being chopped down, or at least not easily. Oh, I'm walking into a trap at some point here, aren't I? Oh, it's cobwebs! I fucking knew it. Okay, but we're fine. Hmm. Are you guys good up there? Is this gold or is this something I've seen before in a million times and I'm going to be disappointed? It's tin. Of course it is. Okay. Interesting. What is that? I'm dreading to find out. Okay, it's just water. Okay, but there's a blue thing in the water. That's okay, because I've seen those blue things before. They're manageable. I don't know why there was arrows in that wall, but cool, cool. Hmm. A little bit scared, not gonna lie. Don't know what's coming. Don't know what to expect. Hmm. Is that an enemy in the water? Not anymore. Cool. Right. <gasps> Oh, a minecart track. Well, well. Admittedly, if you have seen my Minecraft VOD, I'm a little bit skeptical about pre-made minecart tracks now. So you'll forgive me if I don't have one to ride it. Hmm. Okay. Well, now that you're both in the water somewhere... Oh god. Oh god. It goes deeper. It goes much deeper than I would have liked to know. It's fine. E. I've got a fucking grappling hook. Oh. God damn. Not having light in water is fucking terrifying. How do I... Bucket. Well, that helped. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, that that helped, I guess. <laughs> right. There. 
that's essentially what I wanted to do. Oh, quite bright over here now. It's lovely. More lead. I get the feeling lead's going to be important at some point. What's that? Okay, I don't think it was a stone block. <gasps> oh my god, I couldn't tell the difference. Okay. What is that? And I hate that it pulses. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I destroyed it, whatever it was. Very efficiently. Huh. Alright. It's cool by me. Nothing immediately horrifying down there. Let's check out the minecart track, shall we? I suppose we could go back and make a minecart before we take it on, but I don't trust minecart tracks that aren't made by me, which I think is a very fair thing to say. So. Let's just, uh, take advantage of this tin at least. And then take a little walk, shall we? Because admittedly, I would assume if you were building a minecart track, you would have to build it on some sort of stable, walkable platform, but I get the feeling that's not actually the case. I get the feeling you can just build it wherever the fuck you want. And for some reason, that's okay. Hmm. Yep. Those bastards just jumped right through. Cool. Okay. Oh, whatever that is, it's glowing and I don't like it. I do have the grappling hook should things go wrong down there. Not that I'm an expert or anything on the matter, but surely it'll be fine. Ow. Okay. Good to know. Random shit that looks like vines hurts. Don't know that much though. Okay. What are you? Not a threat. Do you give me health? Water? Air? Something? Do you provide nutrients? Do you give any sort of use outside of being creepy looking? Do you feel pain when I inflict it? Guess not. Hmm. Alright. Well, you keep doing you then, I guess. Cool. I can still breathe at the top of this. Nice. Don't know what I just hit, but that's fine. Who needs to know? Huh. Well, all seems well and good here. Let's keep going. I'm still... Extremely suspicious. There was more arrows there. Huh. Get some, get some old H2O out of my system. Oh my god, more tin ore. Why do I get the feeling that tin ore is probably the most abundant and the most useless ore in the game? I've also heard you can grow ore from, uh, only certain types of ore, but supposedly that would be quite useful. Okay. But yes, I think my biggest gripe at the moment is that I don't know how to use magic, and I feel like that would heavily benefit me to an extent. Oh, fuck off, you jungly bastard. Right, what are you? Why are you breathing funny? Whoops. What, what are you? I don't understand. Okay, you're indestructible. You're actually indestructible. Cool. I would throw a bomb at you if I wasn't sure it would kill me.
Okay. I'm still vaguely following the path of this minecart. Oh, come on now. Come on. There we go. Right. Very, very vaguely following this Minecraft path. I feel like it's got to lead somewhere good, right? It can't lead to nothing. That's just boring. Well, I mean, I guess it could entirely lead to nothing, but... Where would the fun in that be? Okay, it keeps going. We're losing it slightly, but that's okay. Oh, God. I did not realize I would be shot in the direction in which I had pulled. Oh, I guess that makes sense for, like, really swift and suave movements, huh? Like, if you're really good at the game, I guess you could just sort of drag and fling yourself along for quite a while, huh? Interesting. Sort of like a fucking Spider-Man type deal. No. Drag, flick. Interesting. Hmm. Well, presumably, whatever the minecart's going to is above me. And I've walked into traps before. So maybe it's better to approach from below. Oh my god, this is actually so handy. This little grappling hook's probably gonna be my most used tool for a bit. Oh, I've just realized, is that water? Nope, it's not, but that is a wiggly boy. Wiggly boy in the sand. Can't have that. Cool. I'm so glad I can do that. These three are adorable, though. God damn it, every time. Why do I always accidentally use my health potions? I guess I typically don't have my sword in my first slot in MC, so I don't expect it to be there in Terraria. Oh, that looks safe. Yes, that looks amazingly safe. Hmm. Okay. No. No, not quite. Fuck. God damn, the speed at which you can die in this game will never cease to amaze me. Okay. Okay, now we're kind of speedrunning and I hate it. Topaz. Alright. Why do I feel entirely unsettled by the fact that this now drones on for a long time? Why do I feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, both literally and metaphorically? In the worst way possible. Okay. Safety seems to be the case. Why did the music slightly change? Oh, I'm getting paranoid. Don't like getting paranoid. Right, I just need to remember that this is the jungle. In fact, I don't need to remember jack shit because there's a map. Oh, God. That could have dealt a shit ton more damage to me, couldn't it? Right. No. Okay. Did anybody else hear the boss music start when I wandered over to that edge? I'll play it again. Nope. Nobody else worried about that? Nobody else? I'm not the biggest fan, if I'm honest. Quite the opposite, actually. Not looking for a fight, just looking for a golden chest of some sort. Hmm. 
See, there it is again. Oh, you bastard. Okay, bring it on. I'm okay with you attacking me. Thought it was something serious. Oh, come on. Thank you, one. There we go. Right. Can we get back to the scary boss music that wasn't the worm? Yes, that. That's the music. I'm afraid that if I do this, this will be like the last thing I do. Oh, I can place on the walls. That is entirely helpful. Okay. Right. Get this tungsten. Not that I feel like I'm going to hold on to it for too long. I feel like there's definitely something big, essentially, in that room that's right next to me. Um... That's where the minecart track ends. Okay. <gasps> Fuck! Really? Oh, that was a... Ant lion swarmer? Okay, swarmer, I'm assuming there is more than one. Interesting. Cactus. Cool. Can't be killed. Right. I... Oh, I've lost my fucking hook. <sighs> okay. Okay, yeah, this is still possible. By the looks of things, enemies don't like to spawn in the darkness. No, they do like to spawn in the darkness. You bastard, please stop. Please stop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, that sucks for me. Mm-hmm. Could you not? Thank you. Yes, not not quite what I was thinking for a, a lovely night stroll. Would you fuck off, please? All of you. Cool. Cool. And yes, just throw my grave around like it's nothing. Should I wait until the daytime to go back and find all my loot, despite dying to a fucking cactus. <sighs> In fact, actually, hold on. Did I... That's not something I can equip, is it? This is just a regular hook. Is that... No. No, I can't equip that directly. That's a shame. That would have really helped. Alright. Guess we're gonna hold on to those. That'll help. Slightly. Sorry, I might have let that guy in. I'll deal with it. Okay. Is it daytime yet? Can I make a bed? Is a better thing I can make and skip today? Uh, shit. Okay. Alright. Alright. As usual, the video seems like it's gonna end with me retrieving my shit and getting back to safety. What a classic. Although I am quite sick of doing it, and I'm also quite sick of dying to inanimate old rolling objects. Not... not my favourite thing in the world, believe it or not. Yes, yes, die quicker, please. I suppose I could have grabbed the, uh, the thing I... This is one of those things, isn't it? Can I just harvest that? Wow, I can. Cool. Oh, you... you... fucking would too, wouldn't you? Okay. This is fine, so long as those eyeballs don't spring up. They haven't sprung up yet, so I have hope that they're relaxing for a bit. You know, kind of resting, chilling out. I hope it's not a sort of Dark Souls... 
sort of Hollow Knight, Elden Ring, all those type of games type thing where now that I've died twice, all of my shit from the first one is, is, is disappeared. Ha! You're stuck. Funny. Right. I don't actually have any torches here, which kind of sucks, but I can see on the map roughly what I'm doing and where I'm going. So that's fine. Oh, fuck. This bat is gonna kill me if I can't outrun it. Oh, and same with this slime. Cool. We are good. Would be very handy to have a sort of grappling hook, maybe. Some sort of hook that can grapple. Some sort of transportation device that is a hook and potentially grapples things. Yes, would be rather handy, wouldn't it? need blocks that does remind me because although I did die to a cactus for some fucking reason I mean what cactus deals that much fucking damage I'm not complaining that I died I'm complaining about the method of my death red slimes sure make them extremely overpowered why not maybe they're a random breed of slime that I never knew had so much more power until they turned red but cactus literal fucking cactus. It's not the greatest way to go down, I'll tell you that. I don't have time for this. Let's just keep going. Of course, oh, god damn it. I hate the fact that I was just getting used to my grappling hook and thus was not leaving a very direct pathway back to my shit. Interesting. But now I know when I die, the grappling hook dies too. It's always good. Are there any more cacti down there? Hope not. Right. Oh, thank fuck it re-equips automatically. That is so helpful. Right. I need to sort shit out. But I definitely don't feel safe here. Fuck it. We'll be fine. Shoes back on, put the helmet back on, put the chainmail back on. My head's gonna start hurting if this keeps happening. Uh, definitely re equip you. Uh, oh, you bastards! Bastards, bastards, bastards! I did not realize you could jump this high. What's with the fucking. What's with the music? Please stop it. Right. Can I get back to my shit? What is with this music? Please stop this music. This music fucking sucks. It's hurting me physically. <laughs> okay. Julie noted. Whack a cactus. It starts rolling towards you for some fucking reason. Really? Is the end of this really just cactus? Are you serious? No golden chest, no heart container, no nothing? It's just a city of cactus. Oh, well that wasn't a complete waste of my time, that's good. And what's with that intense music? Bunch of bullshit. Alright, well, I'm happy to, to take the L on that one and just head home. Don't know what the elaborate little railroad was for, but why do I care? It led to nothing. Cool. Cool, cool. So cool. I hate the fact that that doesn't work. Alright. Interesting, I didn't realise I could grab part of the track. That actually helps quite a bit. on, light this place up somehow, somewhere. Right. Cool. 
Right, well that was a big old waste of time. Ultimate failure, if you will. Oh, there was something there. Hmm. Okay, maybe not the biggest waste of time at all. What is this? I mean, it won't be much, it's not golden looking, but... Recall potion teleports you home. Ooh, fancy. A lesser healing potion, you can definitely get in my inventory. More shurikens. Very nice. More tin bars. I assume I have some somewhere. More grenades. Always comes in handy. Not that I've used them. Consumable material works when wet. Cool. Interesting. So I can drop those in water. Let's pick this up so I don't forget that I've looted it. Hmm. Alright. Well, the real treasure was there all along, and it turned out to not be all that great. So... Cool. Loving the grappling hook. Very sad to see that it dies with me. But... Oh. Still getting used to it. There we go. Oh my. Yes, this is quite nice. I imagine people do this or some shit, and they, they go really quickly. But I won't be able to do that just yet. Oh, it's kind of working. It sort of works. Oh, okay. I'm getting the use of it. Okay, maybe not. Not the greatest use, at least. This is fine. This is fine. This is just the cemetery. It's meant to look this way. I swear. That just goes to show that nothing in this game can actually kill me except for insta-kills itself. Because, as far as I'm aware, I wasn't given a fair fight against that cactus. Or against that boulder. So, anything else, bring it the fuck on. It clearly is inferior to me. Right, but Jack, I appreciate you keeping a look out for this home. This little hearth that we have there. I need to find a golden chest, but other than that, apparently I'm gonna start fighting bosses or some shit. If this is in order of, like, what you're expected to do first and foremost sort of thing. In which case, I need to find a golden chest and defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. Cool. D did that fairy lead me to anything great? It led me to a heart thing, didn't it? Yes. Okay, that's helpful. I don't know how to summon this Cthulhu person, apparently it shows up at night, so I guess I'll just have to wait until a night arises where Cthulhu exists, or something. Anyway, that's going to do it for me and Terraria this time. Please, please leave me any sort of helpful tips in the comment section, especially about magic. If magic is like a button that I'm just not fucking pressing or looking at, please let me know, because... It would be great to know what I can do with magic and how I can magic. I guess I can make this as well. So, you know, even more reason to know magic because I've got 60 out of 60. That's pretty damn good. Um, but yes, if anyone knows how to magic, would be greatly appreciated if I found out too. Wait, so this hook doesn't actually need to be equipped to use? Because I'm using it. Interesting. Okay, so I can't break the game. I have to have it on my inventory. Okay, that seems fair. Interesting, but it, it doesn't have to be equipped, apparently. Hmm. Although, you know, equipping it does actually save me a spot in my inventory, and I get to still use it, so I guess it makes sense. Anyway, I'm dragging on for way too long. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's a perfect place to leave this. Alright, that's gonna do it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. But yeah, I need to know magic. I feel like magic can save me in this. I really hope it's not fucking complicated to learn and do. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.